I feel like the person who won the Super Bowl, not Taylor Swift, not you know, the Chiefs, not Joe Biden, not the USA, but Kanye West. Obviously, he created great music. He created Yeezy. He created with Nike and Adidas, and then he did stuff with Gap and Balenciaga. I think he's like a once in a generation time talent. Talent. But biggest thing he created is fucking Taylor Swift. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the podcast. Today we have a new in-house guest, uh, Anjali, cousin Anjali from the US. Stop saying cousin, bro. You guys are third cousins. I just found out today. So still a cousin. Yeah, that doesn't count. Third cousins also are like. Also, then they can be dating if they have want to. <laughs> Why is it always so? Yeah, maybe this? for you, maybe so for you, you guys, you guys fuck your cousins. We don't. Oh. What do you mean you we guys? Just, what just, do you mean you guys? Ooh, we, what do you mean you guys? People? Huh? Fahim. What do you mean you guys? Rashid. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying because I'm scared. <laughs> this but, is the uh, first 10 seconds. <laughs> it's not even like 30 minutes <laughs> in. Okay, but Anjali, what brings you to India again? Um, definitely not him. <laughs> um, do you really want to know? Do yeah, I really have to us. tell him my personal information? Like, yeah, you have to. That's how it looks. That's kind of how this works. Getting personal. So I got, I got in a car accident like 11 years ago and I herniated two of my discs. And so like, what? Speaking Talk over. louder? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I herniated two of my discs and like now I have like really bad back problems. Was the car accident your fault? I mean, you're saying that I was 18, okay? <laughs> yeah, it was the my fault. 18 is not the problem here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was my fault. fault. <laughs> Why is that your first question? Your question should be are you feeling okay? You are feeling okay. You're sitting in a podcast room 11 years later. <laughs> not by choice. <laughs> <laughs> no. I was supposed to she told me she was going to go shopping with me. So, <laughs> lie to you. Shopping for you. <laughs> 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 It was like <a> bit. <laughs> okay, so wait. She asked you why are you in India, and you said you had an accident seven years back. Yeah, so come here. Yeah, so yeah. I am going to an Ayurvedic treatment center. Are they going to put like oil in your ass? What? Not this time. Oh, oh last time they did. <laughs> yeah. How was that? What is it? I'm not doing it again. Huh? 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 Fuck! I should have just been an Ayurvedic. <laughs> <laughs> you can come with me. <laughs> no, he wants to be the doctor doing that. <laughs> oh. Okay. You can cover the <laughs> <laughs> So wait, so they prescribe medicines to you, you have to so what is the process like in an Ayurvedic center? Yeah, so they like prescribe medicines for you. You take it the entire two weeks that you're there. Um for me it's like fascial massages, so like they take you to a wooden table. You're like butt ass naked. You have like they give you like a loin cloth that you can put on. What do you um, and then they put you on a cloth? Hold on, I'm not done yet. Okay. Um they put you, <laughs> they put you on a wooden table and, and it feels like you're on an autopsy table and then they do like they pour like massage oils and like water and they give you like a a fascial massage it's called. So it's not like too too it's not like a deep tissue massage. Um so yeah. Nice. And like wh- what is the cloth cover? Ask Are you being serious right now? The important questions. No, I'm, I, 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 I said loin cloth. Huh? Loin cloth. What is loin cloth? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> ah, my mouth hurts just saying one word like <laughs> loin cloth. <laughs> what is loin cloth? Your monies. Huh? Oh, your monies. Your monies. dingalaffies. <laughs> She's talking about vagina, I guess. You have no taste or tact. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm known for. <laughs> so they just oil you up, massage you and th- that's for your back, I'm assuming. Yeah. But why are they oiling you up entirely if it's just for your back? You never asked that I question. Mean, <laughs> She's like, "Why are they here? <laughs> oh my god." But it's not you just, just my back your that hurts. You can just remove it's your top. It's not just my back that hurts. What else hurts? My legs. Uh, I don't like the way you asked that. <laughs> You just in my heart. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's I have sorry, I shouldn't curse, but it's like a headache no, to be in curse, pain constantly. Yeah, but I'm trying not to. I'm doing this whole thing where I'm like trying to be more professional in in just life in general. I know your goals might not be the same, <laughs> <laughs> but that's kind of where I'm headed, so nice. You know. How did you get here? <laughs> What's here? She took a like, ship. <laughs> like India? Huh? Yeah. So <laughs> he won't let go. Can you not? No, no, no. Can we not no, talk no, no. about wait, this? Wait, 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 wait. I don't it's need my it's a, status I, I, out there. I, I won't say the amount. I won't say the amount. I won't talk about it. I won't talk about that. I took a flight. I took a flight. No, she took a flight. No, so you know all those clichés about your American cousin? Ah! It's all true, bro. No, it's mm. not. I don't know the clichés. The clichés are obviously that the American cousin is always richer. No, it's not. Yeah, okay. Well, so my this time so it is. So she came, she flew Can she flew she flew in a plane okay and it just like she flew first class cuz her back she could buy she could buy yeah she could buy like a house i here. had to 
Yeah, she could buy a house here. Oh, she was in a car accident. It's understandable. Yeah. Stop shaming her, dude. I can't say. Yeah, he's he's the, the US you. cousin who's rich in India. Thank you. Oh, you yeah. just act like you're poor, bro. Mm. He's from the Gulf. What do you mean he's poor? Um, Guys, he just um, travels um, first um, class all the time. Yeah. I have never traveled first class. Just that's because that's a freaking lie. Senior Rashid has some principles. <laughs> no, so <laughs> my dad gets, um, when he, he works in the government hospital in Doha, so they give a certain amount um, every year, like two trips back and forth to your home home country and it's all first class mm. what my dad does is he takes the money he splits it the, he splits the price of one first class ticket into four economy tickets so that all of us can that's a smart hella right thrifty the, <laughs> the Qatari good. hospital watching this right now being like oh my god <laughs> <laughs> that's yo no now. this is uh, <laughs> I put that again <laughs> <laughs> but do, do you guys think like business class tickets and uh, first class tickets are extremely expensive I think business yeah, class is so overrated expensive. as fuck and I've given it depends active. on what airline you're flying no, but okay, for example, see, spending so okay, if you're spending you five thousand dollars yeah. to and fro from the US, is it worth it? I think it's super expensive. Wait, how much? Does Unless you have that cost? much disposable like, income, two thousand dollars maybe max. So I when I remember being around eighty thousand one way, uh, economy, India to America, and I think business is like double that. I think it's maybe more a than double. More. I think it's even yeah, maybe a little more. Yeah. Yeah, but you think it's worth it, like five thousand dollars? Absolutely. To no. I personally wouldn't, unless I have that much disposable income that it doesn't like prick me. I yeah. wouldn't have done it if I didn't need to. Yeah. See, but the experience was hella nice. Yeah. Oh god. Tell yeah. us about it. <laughs> Ugh. I mean, I could lie flat. That's Wait, the whole reason you, why I got um, it. You took the Emirates. Or Qatar. Qatar. Yeah. So she was in Doha. Yeah, she was in your. Yeah, I was in your hood. <laughs> so it was good. Huh? It was good. It was I, nice. was, I, was, I liked I your lounges, bro. <laughs> Lying flat was the ultimate luxury. Yeah. What about the food? The food was good. But, I mean, either but way, I'm you, still going to have would IBS you, would you, would after. You have so <laughs> <laughs> no, but would you have paid for it if you didn't have a back issue? That much money? No. I wouldn't have been coming here if I didn't have a back issue. <laughs> uh, as often as I am, if I didn't have a back okay, issue. Okay, what was, like, the part of it that, like, blew your mind? Or, like, really? That blew my mind? I don't yeah, think it... Oh, it's, it's, like, the smallest detail. Like, in Doha Lounge, the Garden Lounge... Um, one of the, some of the doors that you can go into like some like shower area or stuff like you press a button and it's the way it opens it's like sh- oh, but on so the plane what about on cute. the plane did you take a shower on the plane <laughs> there was no, no shower Qatar doesn't have all the shower on Qatar doesn't have that that's no, Emirates Qatar, that. yeah the bathroom was kind of small on Qatar is it Qatar or Qatar they say Qatar the locals say Qatar, Qatar right so yeah. my dad said it right Qatar. Yeah. Americans say Qatar no Qatar. I, don't, I don't say Qatar my dad said Qatar so I've been saying Qatar that's a good He's a real one. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Her, what, what, what I was saying is, hers I understand. But Agram, that motherfucker, only <laughs> flies first class. He's, he's just fat, bro. He's not he here to like defend himself. I, you I have given him so bro. much shit for this. He needs three seats. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you say that. <laughs> okay, okay, wait, wait. I always have this question. What do you guys feel about, like, you, like I only travel economy, okay? I'm a man of the people. No, no you no, haven't. This choice. is a lie. No, okay, no, no, this is a freaking lie. Because all the money goes for the jerseys. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. He doesn't but, even pay for his own jerseys. But uh, what, what, what happened? Like, are you okay with a really fat person sitting next to you? I'm not going to answer this question. I mean, if so... Or do you think, like, airlines should do no a thing? spillage. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, there, <laughs> no, there is spillage for sure. Okay, so we're talking like that big. We're talking to the bike bastard. We're talking that big. Yeah. We're talking massive, like uh, the fucking love handles into your handles. <laughs> like you're uh-huh. here and the handles are all. I mean, ideally, that's not the perfect scenario, but I don't think you can do anything about so it. You're, that saying they have, you're saying they have to buy two seats. No, I don't think you can do that. Airlines won't let you buy No, no, I'm saying okay. should the airline charge the person extra? I think they should be charged for Just two Just like seats. you charge extra for weight, why shouldn't you charge extra for like... They a, should be charged two seats. So yeah. then, no, but then where will we sit, bastard? I'm sitting next to the fat dude. No, if, no, they if have the to buy fat two dude's seats. buying two seats, then they'll have two seats. He can sit on the further off oh. one. No, yeah. Stupid. The airline doesn't lose anything. <laughs> one less person gets to fly, but that's fine. What if you're that one? <laughs> <laughs> thinking that <laughs> <laughs> because I feel like there was an airline w- w- which was charging people extra like for being obese I think it's Ryanair Ryanair yeah. does the Ryanair oh yeah. my Ryan god Air. apparently the CEO came out in some interview and said they want to now start this thing of standing tickets no they did yeah yeah, 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 yeah. you yeah. want to get rid of how the last how do you get buckled into that the last six you, you die <laughs> <you don't laughs> what do you mean you, you put don't. it around your you go surfing <laughs> you know what I do it like when yeah, you ask me when you ask me if I'd ever take first class fuck no 
If I could stand on the plane for less That's money, I'd I. do it. I think I, you would take first class. No, no, no. no, no. If, I, if I had the money, sure. You'll just stand on first class. But <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was at first class. No, but honestly, if it's a short flight, if it's like from Cochin to Bangalore and it's a standing I'd stand. ticket, I'd, I'd stand. stand. Yeah. I would stand. I would never rupees. stand. It's healthier. Even Put if a treadmill beneath even me, if I'd I, walk. <laughs> even if I didn't have a back problem, my ass would be sat down. For I don't day, know. I'm I sure. No, but I feel like you can sit on the floor, no? Yeah, so some some people commented that. You stand. Huh? You stand for an hour when you take a phone call. No, I would love standing. I would love. I'd be up <laughs> yeah, for that. I it's always it's a great standing. Idea. <laughs> I love walking. Obviously, the, the the technical aspect of it is like I don't know how to figure that out because seat belt and like turbulence and whatnot. Like the I, think I feel like the vibes fun. would be so much better too. But Ryan like, is honestly the funniest dude. Like Ryan yeah. yeah. follow on social media. Oh my god! But you know, so I flew Ryan Air once. Okay, and this is my first time flying budget airlines in Europe. Okay, outside India. India, the budget airlines are quite luxury in my opinion, in comparison. So we're in Ryanair, okay. First of all, the ticket is. So you're saying Ryanair is middle class? Is it Ryanair middle class? Ryanair no, like Ryanair is lower just than middle. It's like really budget. Ryanair budget. is like you got to get somewhere tomorrow, and they have an opening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like so, so it's like budget. budget. Have you seen those? It's here's how you. Here's how you travel budget. to Italy for like ten dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Ryanair. Yeah. <laughs> I got so like eleven dollars. So I think my flight. flight was from Barcelona to Ibiza or something. And so you're saying as an Indian you travel Bruh, to Bruh why are you interrupting Wait I'm cutting women yeah. No wait wait I you're saying you're, oh. saying you're saying You're saying cutting women <laughs> You're saying you went as an Indian person in India you went to Europe and that is middle class for you Oh No oh. I never said that. Too much. Read it, read it, go for Too it. Too much. That's you cook. <laughs> I've given you the material. You cook today. Ignore him. I never even said that. Or Instagram she comment section. You cook. Airlines, middle class, I, not or like even budget. No, I said budget. Said. And I never said I was middle class. Yeah, stop putting words in her mouth. Yeah. You know what? Someone put it in her mouth. Oh my god. Anyway. <laughs> Um, so I flew Ryanair. Can I complete my story? Yeah, yeah, please, I would never disrespect women. Okay. Wow. <laughs> then the story is not going to be funny. No, it is. It would, always happens. You I would better laugh. I would <laughs> respect. I'm going to laugh so hard. I'm going to laugh so hard. <laughs> Everyone laugh. Everyone shut the, shut the hell up. Shut the front door, yeah. Yeah. So, um, okay, so first of all, when you buy that ticket, you have no luggage allowance or anything. Okay. And then you reach the airport and like you're supposed to pay like someone, what they cut out in your ticket price, they make up in your luggage price. Okay. And then I sat down and it was just my best friend and I and we're on this flight and take off everything fine. We're about to land. We land. People start clapping. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> I'm like, wait, oh, is, this pi- is this the pilot's like pilot flight? <laughs> like, has he never done this before? Why are people clapping? <laughs> I freaked the hell out. But apparently it's tradition to clap. Yeah, every time. What do you mean it's tradition? I like clap never. all Apparently flight? all flights they just clap when you land. Like yeah, I always. On Ryanair specifically, I think so. No, Yo. I always clap. No, whenever we I travel to Russia, those people. I feel like yeah. <laughs> no, whenever <laughs> I travel to Russia, uh, we always clap. Literally every. Wait, the you are, are a plane clapping. clapper? Yeah. There would they are making hella memes about you in my country. <laughs> yeah, why the fuck hey, would you clap? Your country's India. No, why the fuck would you clap? Your the country plane sometimes. She's like, don't your country your sometimes the plane doesn't even land in the fucking airport. It, it lands in a lost. building. <laughs> no, oh, guess what? Shit. Guess what? Oh, <laughs> you know what we were talking about earlier? The fact how he was born on. I was. He was like, oh, I'm 22, baby. and I was like, were you alive for 9/11? Yeah. And he was like, I, I was, was like, born what? on I the day. We lost one, but we gained another. Two hours before, I was like, bruh. What time on? What time were you? Two hours before it happened. Oh they God. lost one. They gained another. Yeah, that is so interesting. So you you always get randomly checked, yeah. right? So I yeah. feel like I've said this, but every time I went to America, they would just randomly check me. Well, like, I would randomly check you if Muslim. I Muslim. Whoa, 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 bro! I was like eight years old. <laughs> <laughs> Muslim. Nine eleven. What is the purpose of your visit? <laughs> yeah. I was like seven or some shit the first time. I uh, so you poor uh, thing. I have a, like it's a really funny story. So I have a baby brother, Rahil. And he was flying to America with his parents, okay? And obviously, as a child, you don't know un- you, like, you don't know the, the intensity of immigration at America, mm-hmm. right? And he was a very, very, very naughty kid. And um, so they've reached, they've landed in America. And just before immigration, I think there was, like, my uncle shouted at him for doing something. So he got really annoyed that he was shouted at. And he, mind you, he's really young, okay, at this point. Like, he doesn't understand. 
So at immigration, they're there, and then he's just looking up at his dad with some mischief in his eyes, and his dad knows he's going to say something that's going to screw them over. He's like, "Ah, uh, Papa, where have we kept the gun?" <gasps> oh, no. oh no! 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 That's no! It. They were. Oh no! <laughs> they were sidelined, and they had to like wait. For like a few hours, till like they were thoroughly checked. Oh, that's and stuff. so serious. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, my uncle did have. Did it. he get his ass? <laughs> I would leave that child. Like how old? How old was he? How old was he? Papa must have been like seven years, eight years. Oh old my max. god, I can't Holy even shit. begin to imagine. Yeah, because, but I mean, but he doesn't know, right? That. It's so strict. Do they get the SWAT there. team out? <laughs> I, I mean, I don't think so. I mean, because they also understood it's a child, but they had to right. do their due diligence. Oh my god! Way. So, <laughs> yeah. So it was quite. Damn, great. girl. Yeah. Fuck! Did you see the uh, the recent news about the plane in uh, was it Madrid? Yeah, it was. I London. think flying from London door? to Madrid yeah. or something. Do you know about this? The door so, came off. Uh, no, 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 we no, talked no, about no. that. This is the oh. other one where. Sorry. No, this 18-year-old before getting on his plane, he messaged his. Oh yeah, yeah, Snapchat. Yeah, yeah. He messaged his Snapchat group saying, "About to, about to bomb this plane. I am a member of the Taliban." And it was a brackets. private chat. Private chat group group message on Snapchat. On Snapchat. Okay. Yeah. And like. And then MI5 pulled up. No, at the mid jets? mid flight. Yeah. Their oh, pla- mid their flight. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're up in the sky, and the plane gets intercepted by like military That's jets. That's wild. Yeah. From Spain, and, uh, and they had to land, and then now they're suing him for like the yeah. He, the ha- he has to pay a hundred k pound yeah. fine. No, How much that is, is just that? UK. Then Spain is also charging. Yeah, Spain the fact is also that charging. Oh holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> would like Interpol be involved? No, in that? no, no. But, but, but it was recently, uh, yeah. like the judge. Uh, cleared it. him of any yeah. charges. Really? Yeah, because they were like, it, it was, was a, a joke in a private setting. He was fucking around, so. It, yeah. He, but that's not okay. We shouldn't be doing that. I mean, but Sending also. Message? Yeah, you shouldn't be saying that stuff. I feel like you can't, it's like, a it's, a, between, it's a private message. It is message, a joke, yeah. Right? No, but, but it's a private but, message, and how are they reading this? It's a snap. Yeah, yeah you're right? telling me every Clearly snap I send is like, all the dick pics. All the dudes, all the dudes, bro. Zaheem's dick pic, not even mine. Well, someone else is having fun with Zaheem's picture. So he's telling me they're seeing all of this. So the explanation they gave was that since it was over the airport Wi-Fi, they could intercept it and they could read it. But oh. otherwise, like it's that not. is so shady. It's yeah, that bullshit. Is shady. It's so shady. They're reading all shady. of it, man. What are you worried about? I just lost a hair. <laughs> it's okay, I'll survive. <laughs> oh God! But um, how was Valentine's Day, guys? Did y'all do anything? I was on a plane. Nice. A lot of plane talk recently. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys ever been interested in doing it on the plane? Shall we? Have you done it on a plane? No. When he said he <laughs> clap, he claps on the plane. That's what he meant. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Ass clap. <laughs> Shall we? You never done it on a plane. You're not done anything. Fornication. I'm a virgin. Of any <laughs> like <laughs> fornication <laughs> of any sort. No. Nothing. No. <laughs> Shall we? Why are you so? Why? I hate this. Part. Okay, no, talk, like all are liars. No, talk about your hypothetical friend, uh, Jamoli, <laughs> <laughs> Ramoli. No. Oh, by the way, I read something that was super interesting. Mm, change the change topic. Change the topic. <laughs> <laughs> no, before I forget. Um, uh-huh. So Sharan ne- never wakes up in the morning, right? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. he wakes up like only midday. Truth, any uh, the truth only comes out about me. What about me? No, you nothing. You're hey, a virgin. Hey, stop interrupting okay, her. On, sorry, you on. interrupted <laughs> again. <laughs> Wow. Um, yeah. So basically, this there's a theory that there are people who are not morning people, and the the reason behind that is because their ancestors must be people who had to. So you know, back in the day, like when you were a part of a clan, not everybody could sleep at the same time because some people had to be awake oh, to yeah, ward yeah. off like invaders and stuff. So apparently, your ancestors were one of those. So how come oh. I didn't get those genes? Your no, ancestors are not the same. <laughs> Third, no. third cousin. <laughs> no, but by, uh, that far up, I feel like we'd be in the same tribe or some shit. Yeah, maybe they were siblings. Like you guys took the morning shift, they took yeah. the yeah, shift. yeah, because you wake up really early. You woke up at That's four a.m. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Not by time, everything was shift based, right? Because like we had to be awake because like tigers or somebody would come in. Yeah, so you. apparently that's the theory behind. So we do the night stuff. You guys do the morning stuff. You're so brave, Sharon. Yeah, you're so brave. (laughs) Thank you (laughs) for your service. (laughs) At least now you have a good story to tell people when they ask. Where did you read this? I read it. Mirror? (laughs) On someone's (laughs) Instagram reels. It's a book. It's a book. Um, I don't remember the name of the book, but I read it as an Instagram caption of a person. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh. <laughs> that's what I thought. Imagine, imagine <laughs> writing a whole, whole book, book just to explain <laughs> why you can't get up in the morning. No, but it's such an interesting. No, theory. I think that's interesting. It makes sense. 
morning people and night people. Yeah. No, imagine writing a whole book and nobody remembers the book, but some fucking caption somebody has put on some fucking photo. That's what people remember. <laughs> yeah, no, but it's about it's, this person is doing that seventy-five hard challenge, so you have to read ten pages a day. Okay, talk about hard. I'm on like thousand eight hundred days of hard. Really? Yeah. Have you been working out every day? No, I'm just joke. hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, talking about... <laughs> I like how we both had different jokes there. <laughs> but you went first. Talking about hard. Have you got anyone hard on a flight? <laughs> I'm sure if people look at me, they may have feelings. I'm not. I don't, I don't go and bed. You're such a liar. <laughs> okay, guys. Fictional story. My friend Ramoli <laughs> has said that she has fornicated on a flight. Really? Yeah. Fornicated? Yeah. I don't know what that means. Like, she said... She said... I know what Sexual activities. <laughs> Crazy. In the bathroom. Hmm. Interesting. It's kind of tight in there. Really tight. <laughs> Reiner? <laughs> <laughs> If you're standing, it's more convenient. Standing, standing seats make sense now. <laughs> so nobody has done anything on a flight? Okay, just tell us. Okay, how many bitches have you fucked on a flight? Okay, you want to flex? Is that it? <laughs> Damn. Go <what>? ahead. <laughs> it's going to be okay. <laughs> no, this is usual. You, you'll find that special someone. <laughs> I'm a virgin. Come on. Yeah, that's why I said you will find. <laughs> okay, okay, tell us about your... No, but... um, Sorry. Oh, he doesn't have a story. I don't want to hear about his story. No, I'm not. I've hooked up on a plane, but I haven't like had sex. Yeah, but I want to. Okay, we'll we'll do it. Oh, separately, <laughs> separately. in Ryanair. <laughs> <laughs> nice. No, I feel like it has to be a long enough flight. But but do you Four guys? Minutes? Maybe if you <laughs> could afford a, a Q Suites in Qatar, it would be easier for you. No, but that's not fun. Kidding. It has to be like adventurous. It has to be challenging. It, it has, has to be, be economy. fucking it inconvenient. It has to be high economy in the <laughs> where things are dirty. And like, you Ew. Know, okay. Yeah. Why would you? This is why I've never. You know, for the longest time I wanted to be an air hostess. Yeah, a lot are, of girls have that fancy. You are air hostess. Yeah. yeah. You have longest air hostess. Because you get to wear like cute little outfits. No, for me it was like, oh, I can get to travel the world. That's true. My brother was like, you know, you can just be a pilot and do the same thing. Why would you want to do a harder job? I mean, it's because she's a girl boss. I feel like because it's more intellectually stimulating being a pilot. Yeah. I feel like being an air hostess is intellectually stimulating as fuck. I mean, there's dignity in all labor. I so. feel like you didn't mean that. I did. I still no. <laughs> He didn't mean that. My name is the biggest liar. <laughs> Just let me cook, man. You're not <laughs> cooking anything. He's a he's <laughs> a except cooking up stories about yourself. He's a woman yourself. hating misogynistic <laughs> that man is whore. Yeah. Your arm hair pattern is really interesting. <laughs> What? Because <laughs> I'm a hairy guy. Did he? Did you say arm hair is nice? Arm hair pattern is interesting. Interesting, which means it's fucking ugly. I made that pattern, bro. Eh? Yeah, he waxed me once. Oh yeah. Really? And yeah. I had to shave my whole arm. That's why it looks like that, like a little hard. I did the right hand. Yeah. Stubbly. Nice. And he was so upset. How is exam season coming along? Mm. Well, yeah. I thought we were going to talk about Valentine's Day. But we none Now of we us move, have interesting. We moved lives. on. <laughs> Anyways, I want to hear about your exams. Whoa. I'm just I'm gonna start crying. Why? What happened? It's okay, we're here for you. It's hard. Also, a lot of people must be going through exam season right now. Why don't you give yeah. them some ray of hope? I feel no. I feel like I feel like so every podcast or vlog we upload, and if Fahim is there in it, they somebody will comment saying, "Fahim, bro, don't you have exams coming up?" But I feel like it's coming from a very personal place. It's like somebody who knows Fahim <laughs> and his calendar. <laughs> It never sounds random. No, I mean state-wise, all the medical colleges oh. have exams coming now. And so, if they have seniors studying, or if they're in the same batch as well, they'll know that. Exam no, plus will come. this March April season is exam yeah. season, so it's hard. I mean, I've tried sticking to a calendar uh, routine. I'm kind of like going out less. It's hard though, not going out every single day, especially when your friend is fucking unemployed, Nisu, uh-huh. and uh-huh. he just texts you every single night. Hey, come out! We're doing this. Yo, we're getting lit. Yo, all the women are here. Yo, let's get lit. <laughs> Uh, no, you gotta say no sometimes. You know, self control is important. I'm kind of learning that. And so you have a schedule that you follow. You wake up at a certain time. You study for so many. Yeah, hours. so I kind of prefer to study at night so mm. that no one can disturb me. So I kind of study till like five a.m., six a.m. now when I get up by like the noon. So wait, you don't have college class? You don't. Have no, I've like studied all days now for a month. For a month. Yeah. Because his finals after this, he's gonna be a big boy. Yeah. He I'm can treat doctor. you. Proud of you. I would never. Fu- uh, <laughs> 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 Fuck. <laughs> yeah, you can, maybe you can do like a double course. Double major. <laughs> maybe I should have. But Ayurveda is not real medicine. Yeah, it's like oh ho- my God. homeopathic. Yeah, I, I don't want to say it, but <laughs> <laughs> you don't think Ayurveda is really uh, real medicine? It's a whole other topic. I don't have energy to get into. <laughs> <laughs> can we talk about? Drake's penis. What? Oh my god! Dude, I Why? searched for the video, but I never found it. Yeah, Drake, okay, what? no. So Drake's yeah, his Drake's dick got leaked. Did you not know? 
Show me a wallpaper. I never looked for it. Shut the fuck up. I have such No, I have never looked for it. Show me a search of stories. No, right so I I woke up and I read that like I saw that it's trending. First thing I did, I go to Twitter, Drake video penis. And I searched <laughs> Wait, it. So who leaked it? I'm sure he himself leaked it. He must have sent it to me. Because all the comments on some um Drake like reels and everything is like oh he's got three legs and stuff. Yeah. So. Dude is packing. Like you seen is, it? I saw it. Yeah. You saw the video? You're yeah. Sick. What do you mean? Dude, I want to see it. I'll send it to you. Oh okay. my god. But it came up accidentally on my feed. I didn't like. L- you just said you saw it. I searched for it, it but I couldn't <laughs> find it then like it came. <laughs> the the algorithm it. came. <laughs> algorithm was like <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yeah, bro. So like I can like describe the video for you guys. <laughs> he's on his bed and the, like it's a mirror selfie, but he's on his bed and that thing is just swinging. Okay? Oh no, my! And it's like God. it's like have you seen the snake charmers? Yeah. When the snake goes like that, yeah, that's what <laughs> it looks <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically. Then like that wasn't even like that was like Did a semi. Did it make semi. you feel small? I mean, I already <laughs> kind of knew that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't need Drake to tell me. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, dude is. Was it entertaining? Like How a, long was the video? It's like a GIF. It's oh, it's a GIF. Three seconds. Oh. So, but he sent it to someone, and someone else leaked. I'm guessing. Yeah, it looked like that. Mm. I mean, it could have leaked through the but cloud. He's, a, he's absolutely maybe fine. Maybe someone intercepted his snap. <laughs> yeah, right. Send it over airport Wi-Fi. They fined him for having a pet snake. <laughs> <laughs> Exotic animals are not allowed. <laughs> yeah, the dude is blessed. Like God definitely has favorites. <laughs> Uh, you know some people like he's a multi-billionaire, one of the most successful artists of all time, and a fucking like anaconda. Like, that's just not fair. <laughs> yeah, some people just have it all. Do you hear Kanye? You guys want to see the video? I'll send it to you. Send it to me right now. I want to see. Now it I'm kind of curious. And we can react. To send it to me right Dude, now. She has definitely seen the video. I'm not, she's I'm not acting. Seen. No, we'll she, see it. You know, you know why she's seen the video? Is authentic. Drake sent it to her. <laughs> no, she saw the video because she's a veterinary. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> and the snake. <laughs> Guys, for context, yeah, yes. she's a vet. So <laughs> very good. Uh, Do you like being a vet? Yeah, I mean, as any job, there's bad days, but like, what's a like bad 90% day in a vet, veterinary? Really bad clients. No, but like or if I get really bit, like bad. Oh, which, yeah, okay. When oh. she thought really she bad clients, a, I thought of like, <laughs> like a bad dog. Like, dog like you see that scar right here? <laughs> yeah, yeah that my... was a German Shepherd. Oh. Oh my god! Um, Wait, did you mean when you said bad clients, like the no, 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 clients as in the humans. Okay. <laughs> um, when they're but being like, dumb. how are they bad? Like, what, what do you mean by bad? Um, when they're just like dumb, or they just want to come in to like get their way, and then they argue with you to the ends of the world if they don't get their way. But you get their way as in they have a certain idea of how to go about things. No, they just don't want to like pay for things. Mm. Sometimes after they said yes to it. And I'm like, I there's only so much I can do. So then I have to get the manager involved, and then like but it's a bad day for her. For, um, there is, you know? but uh, a lot of people don't have it. And honestly, like depending on what kind of plan you're looking for, I, don't, I personally don't think it's worth it. I'm not supposed to say anything about it, but mm-hmm. um, they're not gonna watch this, so <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Um, the plans that I've seen, I'm I like, mm, I personally would not. <laughs> what the f- did you just say? Huh? What? What did you just whisper into the? I didn't. I didn't say anything. I'll beat it out of you later. <laughs> 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 nice. With a pillow. Having a sleepover. <laughs> but, um, uh, but like, so when the German Shepherd bit you, like, was it bad? Like, did it bleed and stuff? Um, or like, it didn't bleed, but apparently but left won't a you mark. Have, like, wor- won't you have, like, those fucking harnesses which will... I was trying to put on a muzzle, and that's when he bit me. And mind you, this thing was, like, six months old. So that's very not a good sign. <laughs> Six um. months. Oh, you're saying he should be put down? No, no, no. no, no. I'm not whoa, saying he whoa, should be whoa. put down. I'm saying he should be put into it's training as soon as the possible. Of Muslim in me. I'm sorry. Damn, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Simmer, man. You're out like at an eight right now. You need to go back to like a three. <laughs> <I'm> an eight? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not oh, not fuck. like you as a person. <laughs> not hotness, bro. We're talking about like Hot aggression. Ten, right? Thanks, man. <laughs> Thanks, Shamli. Well, didn't we do a video you. of yeah, this? Yeah, but they both had to say that. Both were trying to. <laughs> Underplay, yeah. lowball each other. Yeah, yeah. but so, yeah, overall I like it. I but like so it's just it's a dogs and cats or that other. For me, it's dogs and cats. I get really annoyed when they bring me a rodent. I'm just like, oh, this is my opinion, but I'm not a specialist, so you need to go to a specialist when they bring in a rodent. But aren't you trained to look at all those animals? Yeah, so but realistically, you need to do you what you're only confident in. Right. No, but you're you're trained to look at all animals. I did like yeah, I did like zoo animals in school and stuff. So what about like snakes? Yeah, I didn't. Uh, yeah, oh. I mean, I, 
I didn't really. I mean, we learned about them, and I, I dissected oh, a few, so but like. Oh, so on them that means. Yeah, basically. Mm. Well, nobody can treat him. He's beyond <laughs> repair. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you like that? I love that. <laughs> Nice. So that yeah. I don't know, like you've never encountered a snake at like the wet, wet. No, nobody brought in a sa- snake to me yet. Is what it is legal to keep snakes? Fucking Drake's yeah, coming yeah. there. <laughs> <Yeah. next day>. <laughs> 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 what is the weirdest animal? Like the cool, like dogs and cats are normal. Rodents are like I guess normal. I think Americans. the coolest animal that I've personally worked with was a rhino. Ooh, Holy oh, rhino came into the fucking vet. No, not they didn't come into the vet. <laughs> she went to the zoo. No, I went to South Africa oh, okay. on like a zoo trip, like a zoo like. Was um, it Qatar Airways business class? <laughs> So guys, we're going to talk about Valentine's Day because it's... We were in the I swear we were talking about rhinos, story. bro. Oh, rhinos. Yeah, we were in the middle of my story. Okay, okay, yeah. You, <laughs> went, you went to South Africa, first class, rhino. No, stop saying that, okay, bro. Okay, second class. He has back issues, yeah, man. Yeah, you make me feel like a privileged hoe. I'm just why, trying to survive. Why is it bad? No, why is privilege <laughs> a bad thing? It'd rather be you privileged and people call you privileged than anyway. you no privileged and you are calling other people privileged. Oh my God. Don't yell at me. I know you like Lower it. your voice when I you talk you to like me. It. I don't, don't, you guys I don't are like cousins. That. Do you want to <laughs> like it? <Stop. laughs> no, please don't. Uh, mm. Anyway, yeah, rhinos. Um, so yeah, there was like a rhino sanctuary in South Africa that I went to. Um, so they're basically like sanctuaries because they get poached a lot. Um, so yeah, we used to like, well, somebody else. Well, I don't know if one of us darted them. So we dart them. Um, we cut off their horns so that the poachers don't target them so it doesn't hurt them so it's just like before the, they could the poach ivory. before the they horn. could cut the horn you cut the horn yeah because when they cut the horn they cut parts of their like yeah, body they off surgically, like, yeah exactly yeah. like they they don't only cut the horn off they cut like their face off yeah yeah so and they leave them to die yeah yeah so instead of allowing that to happen um yeah so we do that we vaccinate them we take measurements and like ident like put like whatever identifying markers on them and then mm. that was really cool <laughs> look at us all I would do it again <laughs> I, I love that experience. I would do it again. Yeah. Yeah. But are, the, are hippos dangerous? I mean, not hippos. Sorry. Rhinos? Rhinos, rhinos, rhinos are, yeah. Charge at you, and yeah. hippos are dangerous. Uh, yeah. Hippos are dangerous. Anything the down there. Even a freaking giraffe. I'd, I would not. I would not. not. Would. You would not fuck with one? Yeah. I wouldn't fuck with anything down there. What would a hippo do to you? Hippo Dude, runs. hippos are so aggressive. Yeah. Imagine Igram running at you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're so mean. Dude, he gets so many strays on you and he's not even here. Yeah, he's We're not trying here to remember him, bro. I can't wait for him to be on here. <laughs> <laughs> he's just going to No, you know, you know what I'm going to do? We're going to invite him for the podcast. Play a then, montage of us just No, same. and then we're not going to get him. He's going to make him stand on the side. <laughs> <laughs> You think he's not going to come in and interrupt that? You really yeah, think so? Really interrupt. If he interrupts, we leave. He can't fit here for sure. We need oh my sofa. God. <laughs> I mean, he can sit where you're sitting. That's so <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> but anyway, okay, let's talk about Valentine's Day. Is Valentine's Great. Day big in America? Yeah. It's like a big thing? I mean, yep. Everything yeah. is big in America. <laughs> People do Everything's it. huge. In America. And like all the freaking retail stores have their corny crappy as <laughs> valentine's day decorations what up. do valentine's day do to you you sound pissed off <laughs> <laughs> me yeah nothing i was on a flight i told you no in okay no valentine's day bro like every valentine's day you like you hate in your entire i try to be <laughs> avoid that shit some... valentine's day Yo, nah i'm catch, out of here catch flights not for <laughs> 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 yeah. how do you do it you can't even do it get out of here <laughs> doors over there I feel um, like growing up Valentine's Day was such a big thing. It was? Yeah. <laughs> and like nah. I Wait, would growing up Arch- in Moscow, he Archie's. made it a big thing. Oh no, my god, the the old yeah, school the OG, Archies. Uh, oh, the, oh, the OG Archies. Archies is like a department, not like a depa- like a store here. It's like a, yeah. Where you get like cards romantic and cards like and flowers. And and oh, like a Hallmark. Yeah, yeah Hallmark thingy. for like really poor people. <laughs> Why do you have to make it? All about socio-economical status. Yeah, oh, yeah well, if Hallmark was there, people would have gone Hall- Hallmark. Hallmark. Yeah, bitch, you belong in Archie's. <laughs> I thought Archie's was expensive when I grew up. Yeah, no, same. Archie's was expensive, but it's not as expensive as Hallmark. And the product, just because it's expensive doesn't mean the thing is good. Like, it was shitty stuff in Archie's. Okay, right. go on. So, yeah, it was all about, like, going there and buying cards, which were, like, 40 rupees. And, like, you had to go and pick and choose the card. And some were, like, really generic, but some were, like, little, like you know. Snazzy. Snazzy, yeah. But I never understood Suggestive. the the point be- behind gifting a soft toy like what am I supposed to do with a I giant like ass teddy bear are you sit done on with your story huh? no, sit on it like I want to get a big <laughs> ass teddy bear I got <laughs> a small ass teddy bear what am I supposed to do with a small ass teddy bear what are you you can't do sit with? on that 
Why do you want to sit on a teddy bear? A big no, teddy bear? No, I understand why a teddy bear is like a good gift. Like I feel like flowers are terrible. Flowers, flowers are the are worst horrible. gift ever. Teddy bears are horrible. I like flowers. Yo, why, <laughs> why is everyone shitting on Valentine's Day? Yeah. We need like a supporter here. Because I... You love the deal. No, love? I hate the concept. <laughs> Shut of the fuck up, dude! I know you love it. It's just a hallmark. No, I don't. Event, I've never celebrated it ever. Uh, in school, ever? No, in school, I, I used to fight with all my ex-girlfriends about this because I wouldn't even wish them. Because for me, I mean, it's such a cooked up. It's just an oh, opportunity that's a, that's to show a little bit extra. No, it's a that's not true. You cooked up all day. Drive capitalism. That's all it is. I mean, yeah, but like you know, you he wished you. You don't have to spend money on the event. I swear I don't wish. You don't have to spend money on the day of. You just show a little bit of extra love. Yeah, but everyone feels pressurized to like spend money, and that's what they want. You You don't have to. Everyone does it, dude. Yeah, everyone does it, but you don't have to make it. And the whole day is like just solely made for that. Like it's cooked up for that. Like there's no significance of that day to a couple. Like I get celebrating your significant other on like their birthdays or like your anniversaries. That makes sense to me. But why Valentine's Day? It's like one day celebrating love. But why can't you celebrate love every day? You're celebrating yeah. love every day. You're celebrating like you're born and you're alive every well, day. Well, we used to celebrate it as a family. On your birthday, that is the day you were born, born. So you're celebrating it extra. So Valentine's Day. My dad day. like home cooked an entire meal from scratch for Valentine's Day. So like we can be like a family event too. It doesn't yeah, have to yeah, just yeah. be yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people like give yeah. their parents stuff. On so my go-to thing was buy a card, buy some flowers, and take her to a movie. Take her to a movie. Because yeah. you know movies. <laughs> You uh, get kicked out of a lot of movies. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> My friends give me Valentine's Day presents. Really? Yeah. That's sweet. Galentines is like a thing. Yeah, no, I don't like my guy friends name. sometimes. Guy and well, Yo, the guy's trying to... <laughs> yeah, the guy's trying to smash, but he's... No, he's, he's gay. in the friend zone. Oh. oh. <laughs> no, he's the gay best friend. Yeah. Yeah, he was. <laughs> he's trying to get into the sleepover. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, my first boyfriend started off as my gay best friend. Really? <laughs> what? <laughs> What? They called me. They called him my gay best friend. And okay, then, like, and then one time he like metaphorically, me. like he wasn't no, gay. No, gay. And he wasn't what? gay. He was gay. What? And then what? No, no, no. Like we were close, and then everyone was like, "Oh, he's her gay best friend." But you guys were fucking. Why do you have to do all, too much? All they, how is it fucking too much? <laughs> they developed a budding romantic connection between two individuals. Just Thank you. That. And they connected on a physical and emotional level. What is wrong with repeatedly? You? <laughs> Like this. You start off good and then you decline <laughs> real quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I need to give him some <laughs> thing to sort of. Can you stop clapping, please? Yo, the plane didn't. We're not on Ryanair. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys had any like bad days on Valentine's Day? Yeah. Like bad stories? Okay, you can go first. Me? <laughs> nah, nah. I've been talking a lot. Somebody no, no, no. Know. Please just <laughs> give us a story. <laughs> How long ago was this? How long ago? It was like ten years ago, maybe. It wasn't that bad, but I could tell, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to break so up with him. So was it, like, high school? Uh, no, it was college. Thank you for thinking I'm that young. <laughs> <laughs> You're Sharon's age, right? I'm, like, a year younger than you. Okay. Yeah, I'm not 30 yet. Oh, then, yeah, you're younger than him. <laughs> yeah, for damn sure. So what happened on this day? Um, I mean, like, we did everything he wanted to do. Um, He showed up in freaking gray <laughs> sweats, and I was like... <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> What's wrong with gray sweats? It's the uniform. Oh, I was like, I it's was all guy, dressed it's up. It's the guy who always gets the girl. The guy wearing these slides and gray, and the gray sweats. sweats. <laughs> Where's your girl, dude? <laughs> Where's your gray sweats, man? Not right that I would do me. anything for you, but... So, what, did anyway. you guys plan out a date and he came in gray sweats? No, like, yeah. So, we planned to go... Well, no. We were just planning to go out. Okay. And then we, like, went back and forth about where we wanted to go. And, like, back then, we were, like, still fucking hiding our relationship stupid like mm. um like from typical like family? from uh, everyone, everyone basically okay. not like hiding it but just like trying to keep it low-key um so like i didn't want to go to a certain area he really wanted to go there and i'm like we're more likely to be found out there like i don't really want to like run into people but then we went back and forth for a while and then i was like fine we can fucking go there so we go there and we run into people and i'm like see what the fuck happens but it's not a big deal but i was just like it was like one thing after another, mm. but I could just tell I was like not really feeling it. Yeah, it's a it's a red flag when a guy doesn't listen to you or we- wears gray uni- gray sweats <laughs> for Valentine's. Or like at least like come on, let me choose a place, please. Like yeah. at least do you that. You wear much. your pants, I will choose the place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like I let me choose some gray sweats to, to Nobu. <laughs> <laughs> I had to drive. What? Yeah, I. Yeah, drove. that's when she got had the accident. <laughs> that, <laughs> that guy. <laughs> Guy. That's why she hates on him 10 years later. Here she is in India trying to get like her back fixed. 
So how long did the relationship last after that? Uh, Till the accident. Broke. After that, she died. Yeah. Like a month. <laughs> like a month. <laughs> <laughs> after that, but we were dating for like a couple of years. Oh. Oh. So yeah. was, yeah. mm. I don't know. I've never um, celebrated Valentine's Day actually. Like I've never had anyone buy me flowers, give me chocolate. Damn. Or anything. Wow. Yeah. Girl, I could treat you better. <laughs> If you guys want to get Shamli flowers, just <laughs> Google pay us to this number uh, and we'll get a flowers. Are you giving your number? Why don't put my number up there? Why don't you put your number? People are going to call you, bro. <laughs> oh shit, don't put my number. <laughs> you put get my UPI ID. Again. <laughs> UPI ID if you put the number comes. Yeah. No, the the asterisk comes. Once you send money to that number, then they can access your like if so I send money. There is no way that's true. Lot of people have oh, my number I because know. of that. Is remember the time we used to stream? So I said, "Give me my UPI ID." And with the UPI yeah. ID, you get so I, I randomly. You gave your UPI ID. So randomly, I have I have people send me one one rupee. Hey, shut up! Those cheap <laughs> bastards, bro. In America, at least people send like a dollar. <laughs> I mean, that's their one rupee. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, one dollar. <laughs> cheap rupees. bastards! I send a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Fuck! I watched the Super Bowl this time. Why? Are you, are Do you, you even know what? Yeah, I have I, no I idea what the sport. sport even is. I don't know about the rules. Guys, I only know what a touchdown. Hater. Like you hate all sports. I hate, I Dude, like I have never seen anyone who hates sports. Like people don't like sports, so they're like, okay, I don't. You know care what he said? He's like, yeah, let's let's go to London. Let's go in May. And I was like, why May specifically? I didn't like the way you were saying that. He's like, oh, yeah, no, you so can watch book. Manchester United. Oh, no, May? that's why. Yeah, see, that's why. Not because I thought it was my birthday and we won't like. In May, it. United's not playing. Yeah, May United's playing, bro. Premier League's done by April, no? May eleventh, yeah, bro. Anyways, so yeah, we're supposed no. to spend. It's a no I mean, for me. May not, may not, may not go, but like we were supposed to do Shamini's birthday in London. Yeah. So I had this resolution to myself back in 2017 that I don't want to spend my birthday in the city I'm living in. So just be traveling basically every that's birthday. That's cute. Yeah, and then twenty twenty and twenty twenty one. Yeah, I mean, traveling is traveling. Well, yeah, you try and say there's nothing to see in Kori Kori. Mm. Hmm? Yeah. Para? <laughs> Wait. So why do you hate sports? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Conversation. I don't. This is a conversation. I, I would talk about sports. Like, is there four people on a podcast? <laughs> Each one has their own thought, <laughs> <laughs> and they're like. <laughs> I don't finish the fucking. We story all have ADHD. You didn't hear fine. about Super Bowl. <laughs> What? Do I just don't. I really just don't care about it. Do you think it was? And I hate it when people are like, "Why don't you like sports?" And I'm like, "Cause I don't give a fuck." But what do you like? Understandable. Then? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's that like was so on the spot. <laughs> question. But do you think it was scripted? Okay, so for context, the game went to yeah. overtime. Like mm-hmm. the scores were tied at full time, and mm. they went to overtime. And after the result, so the Chiefs won, and the president of the United States, Joe Biden, he put up a post on Instagram say, saying, "Just like how we planned it," and he tagged the Chiefs. And I saw this on Twitter first, and I'm like, "Okay, this has to be a parody account because you can get the verification thing by paying like a certain amount." And I click it, and it's the actual president's account. And then he sent it to me, and I'm like, "Why are you sending it to Biden?" <laughs> no, but this is like the Mumbai Indians winning the Mumbai. <laughs> hey, Mumbai! <laughs> it's like oh, them winning like the IPL. Argentina winning the World Cup, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. so <laughs> no, okay, it's a local. It's a, it's based on one nation. So like, let's say Chennai Super Kings win the IPL, and then Modi is like, "Just like how we planned it." He'll he never tags. say that about the South. <laughs> yeah, but imagine, like, he only imagine that if the Gujarat Warriors won something. Prime Minister bro. doing that. But maybe he he's like a supporter of that team, and he's like, yeah, we planned on winning, so that's just how like that's we planned. It. But more importantly, what did you think of the halftime show? That's the only part of that. Yo, I feel like, all, no, dude, I feel like American sports is so lame because half the time everything else is happening except for the sports. Yeah, no, the concept I'm here of for everything else. Sh- I'm here for the commercials. I'm here for the halftime show. The concept of a halftime show is so weird. Like, it's imagine just, it's just for the artists yeah. to make more money, yeah, for, Im- Im- for Im- more fame. Imagine, They don't even get paid for the Super Bowl yeah. show itself, like but their some- ratings go mm-hmm. up. For the su- after the Super Bowl, Rihanna. Getting, like, so there was this one. I don't know which Super Bowl it was, but Rihanna. was performing and she took her lipstick so she's got Fenty, Fenty. Beauty mm-hmm. right so there was this one red lip which she wore and like midway she's just doing a touch up and this is oh, while girl. everybody can see she knew what she was doing sales. she knew what she was doing Bro, ima- imagine your advertising imagine that shit happening in football like your team's getting <laughs> if Barca was getting dog walked by Bayern Munich <laughs> if, with 3-0 if and no. fucking if, 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 no. when, when, if, if when, when they get dog walked <laughs> 
<laughs> they're getting they're getting harassed by Bayern. Oh, you were gonna say something else. I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it. You were like, hello, harassed. <laughs> And it's half time, and fucking Usher comes and starts yeah. taking his shirt off and grinding that's the air. That's what air. I like. That's I what get I like. pissed, man. Like How that. do they do that? <laughs> they, they Usher and Alicia like, Keys, like, <laughs> mm, I was yeah, like, yeah. And Usher's a menace. That guy, Alicia Keys, as a so. You the, jealous? No, I don't. Know, I don't know. I don't know what the refer- reference was here. No, so Usher, like, Usher and Alicia with, Keys did the halftime show, and he just started like that's another. I mean, what did he do? Can you tell us? Can like you from essential? the b- behind, like all, all was like she uncomfortable? No, no. I don't, I mean, well, she, not seemingly. But the the, the 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 context is like, couple months back, like three four months back, Asha had a show. Hmm. There was other artist, Kiki Palmer. She came on stage and Asha started like serenading her, and like dancing really suggestively with her. Hmm. And this woman's uh, like husband, she tweeted saying like, "You're a." Like you're a mother of a child. Like how could you do this on stage and stuff like that? Oh my that god! The whole husband thing. tweeted that he couldn't go into the house <laughs> and tell her. So he couldn't go to the house and. and That's then, so toxic. No, they split up. They got a divorce. Wait, Kiki Palmer. Because of Asha. Yeah. Oh shit! They really? They split up because oh. of Asha. And Asha has a song where he says like, "Don't leave your girl with me" or some shit oh like that. Oh my god! And he tweeted that well, shit. Well, Asha is a playboy. Sounds like a very like, Sharon yeah. story. <laughs> Asha is the guy, bro. Asha, Asha is, is, a, is a playboy. He's him. <laughs> what do you <laughs> expect from Usher? <laughs> All he <laughs> sings exactly. about are like strippers and strip clubs. Oh. But but you know, I feel like the person who won the Super Bowl, not Taylor Swift, not fucking the Chiefs, not Joe Biden, not the USA, but Kanye West. Why? Did you see his commercial? No. Wait, no, yeah, no, no. I, I, I Wait, didn't no, I see didn't. it, but I read what about was it? it. So, you, you know how much money these guys, sp- like, so commercials are the biggest thing, right? Yeah. Like you just said, like, commercials are part of it. Mm. And American sports is created so... You their companies yeah. and teams can uh, generate as much income mm-hmm. and that is through commercials so these big brands spend fucking millions of dollars just for the spot and then they spend millions of dollars getting like the biggest actors sports stars to be in the ads so it's a huge spend in the marketing department for any company and Kanye was releasing new merch and his new album so he paid 7 million dollars to get a spot which is 30 seconds and then <laughs> that's and then he goes <laughs> You you know what the commercial is? He's in his car. <laughs> Not back camera, front camera. There is hardly any light. That's and hilarious. And you can't you can barely see the dude. You can just see his white teeth. Because he got titanium yeah, braces. Yeah. You can see his teeth. <laughs> and he's like, hey guys, and it's not like he has only thirty seconds. You would think that the guy will talk fast, but no. Hey guys, so we spent all our money on getting this spot. So we didn't spend any money on actually shooting this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, so my album is coming out and yeah, I, I've released a few clothes. So this is the website. It's right here. <laughs> you guys can click on it. And like, it just gets cut. That's kind of why I like Kanye, even it's though he's so crayon. Like, he's like very Crayola crayons, but I like Kanye for things Bro, like, like that. Yeah, it's genius. Yeah. And it worked. Like that number one. Like, yeah. So and then, so out. then the... Everything sold out, okay? Everything on the site sold out and he sold everything for $200. Next he made day, back the money? Huh? Did he, he made $20 million in one day. Oh, wow. <laughs> he yeah. sold out because everything. He Bowl. sold out everything. Not only did he sell out, his uh, album was number one in like 150 con- 110 of countries. So he has posted a story uh, like on Instagram. This is the ultimate flex. Ah, uh, the Taylor With Swift and no, 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 that no, comparison? No, no, no. Oh. Where he's shown what his sales are and at the same time, right under that, how many countries he's number one in. And the next second, he's like, oh, guys, by the way, everything on my store now is $20. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody who bought it is like, motherfucker. <laughs> and there are shoes, okay, which is $200. He's so bad. And now it's, now, now it's suddenly $20. So a lot of people bought it for $200. So they're like, what the fuck? Then he puts up another photo. Whoever paid $200 will get $180 back into their accounts. Oh, that's so nice oh. of him. So no, because wait, you know why? he can get sued also. Yeah. Yeah. If you manipulate. I don't wait, think that's he's not nice about of him. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> this man is way past. No, but you can he's get cray. sued for he's manipulating cray cray. pricing like that. Uh, no, but I have a question. Uh, like, I heard the album was very mid, was it? I, well, I haven't heard it. This is the yeah. first time. Uh, no, I heard the it. album. It's pretty nice. I, I didn't, I didn't see saying, his commercial. <laughs> I never understand any of the music anyway. But it sounds I like nice. his music. Yeah. And like, obviously, obviously he created great music. He created like great, like Yeezy. He created with Nike and Adidas. And then he did stuff with Gap and Balenciaga. And he did so many, like, I think he's like a once in a generational time talent. talent. But like, feel like the biggest but with thing. With no he, PR training. Yeah, but the biggest <laughs> thing he created is fucking Taylor Swift. Like, 
she wouldn't be relevant without him so yo <laughs> <laughs> are you a swifty no. okay. i really don't like no her. way you're saying Music. that about no bro Swift. taylor swift is so mid bro not even mid? mid mid is a compliment you know, she's, she's like, below she's mid she's the biggest artist in the world yeah huh? she, she has like macroeconomic so influence biggest artist in the, the world way. means there are several hundred idiots millions no. of idiots who like that particular type of music that's that is it and then it's just feeding on the hype her music is trash it's it's no, so yeah good. but a lot of people See, like that it's perspective you may not a uh, lot of people don't like your, your kind a lot of, of people don't like kanye oh. whoa whoa whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, shit. Hey. <laughs> it's actually <Shut> like that <laughs> <laughs> yo you can give it but you can't take it can you <laughs> we can't you can't ten, you cannot I, take a hit why That is so rude. <laughs> do you like to play some background music do, now? Do you like do you like uh do you like Taylor Swift? Of course, he'll say of course. I love, love Taylor, Taylor Swift. Uh, yeah. But he, he just wants to fuck bitches. I've That's all he wants. <laughs> Stop calling them bitches. Okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> I want <laughs> to I love Taylor Swift. Okay? Man, I can understand how it might be. Yeah. We'll get copyright. Copyright. Oh, <laughs> That's Saint Pablo. That's famous when wait, he wait, says Shoo 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 shoo. One sec, one sec. <laughs> I'm very challenged. One sec. Really? One sec. Listen to this. Listen to this. Bitch famous. I think that's a very misogynistic lyric, which has no place in today's society. You know okay. what? The, you know what the edit should be like. <laughs> you know what the edit should be like. You say that, and then the next shot is us dancing. <laughs> No but I think she it doesn't matter whether you like her music or not she can buy you at this point. Oh yeah. So. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Shabari sort of roll. I just said Taylor Swift is mid. She can your content is trash and she and can buy you. Taylor is Swift is a generational artist. She's like the Michael Jackson of today. Which generation are we talking about? No, no the influence she has. No, she didn't. No, I'm talking about Taylor Swift never touched kids. Taylor Swift never touched kids. Not not even in today's generation. She only economically never touched kids, bro. I don't think Michael Jackson either. He just like slept with them in the same bed, right? Yeah. Self got But he wasn't like diddling them. I mean, you I don't mean, know. <laughs> bro, yeah. everyone that goes to a Taylor Swift show, they love it. They talk about how it's, great of a performer she is. It's an emotional she, impact. She writes her own music. She's a great performer. She's okay. a great singer. Is it is you, Kanye Kanye West a generational talent or is it Taylor, one person? Kanye West or Taylor Swift? There are two different <laughs> kinds. <laughs> Taylor Swift. <It's>, it's, <laughs> are two I different can't, kinds can't of really. talent. I'm sorry to No, be Taylor able Swift. To, <laughs> Taylor Swift. Hey, listen, you're not getting that many girls because of this. Okay, relax. <laughs> <laughs> no, Taylor But, Swift. <laughs> guys, I just wanted to know if I could get Fahim Sport right now. He do- hasn't listened to one Taylor Swift song. Yeah, he ever. doesn't know any Taylor Secondly, Swift song. Secondly, he loves Kanye West. He can I <laughs> I I don't know any lyrics of any song. I don't even understand some of the words. He knows every lyric to every Kanye song. Taylor Swift has a song for a woman. Okay, for okay, a woman. Taylor, but Taylor, Taylor for Swift has a song. A woman going through any phase of their life. It is relatable for everyone from a high school teenager or a middle school girl to like a middle aged woman. That's the power of Mother Taylor Swift. Okay? Mother Taylor. So please <laughs> don't talk about Taylor <laughs> Swift. Where is okay, this okay. coming from? Taylor or Travis Scott? Taylor It's Swift. coming from his penis. Taylor he Swift. Wants to fuck. Taylor Swift. <laughs> Yeah, Taylor he's Swift. a virgin. No, he's held it in for too long. <laughs> he's Swift. only twenty-two. He's a baby. I don't see it as a word. I love wait, Travis Scott. One second. What? Uh, what is this whole Taylor and Travis Kelsey thing? Like, are they dating? Oh, are they're they dating. Are they? Yeah, they're dating. Very publicly. Oh. And so during the match, um, Travis Kelsey, he kind of got like angry and shoved his coach. Who's mm. like a senior citizen? <laughs> who's like seventy five? Red flag. Oh and coach Andy Reid. <laughs> imagine, imagine all the he, Swifties. Imagine when he sho- shoves. Uh, <laughs> yeah, all the Swifties were like, "Girl, I'm kind of worried about Taylor <laughs> Swift. Like, is this the man she's going home to? She's just doing this for content, bro." Stop anyway, can we that. not talk about Taylor Swift anymore? Then you and her should be best friends. Ooh. I would love to be best friends. <laughs> Ooh. But um, see oh the my influence God. she has. There were fully sold out screenings of a movie in fucking Kochi, Kerala, with the whole Dude, theater just dancing to her music. It's a massive influence. E- That's T Swift for you, bro. Put some respect impact. on her name. Oh yeah, politically, name. politically, she has okay. a lot of influence in certain countries. Politically, economically, also yeah. she's helped America so much. Her yeah. shows, the Eras tour, is sold out. It's everywhere. And people like li- are prepping for it like She's, months and it's in expensive. advance. And she and she just announced a new album. I'm so, so excited. So Ooh, relax, yeah. bro. <laughs> so you're saying so all of you are saying that Taylor Swift is a bigger artist than Kanye West. 
in terms of in terms of economic value okay, now the cl- and like i've done enough for the clip but <laughs> Bro, i don't, Kati I don't is the like fucking it. Goat. <laughs> <laughs> okay that's what you're oh, not going to understand gadi is my like, favorite music <laughs> artist ever we have ever. to do an outro for this where we just <laughs> vibing to i mean that but <laughs> <laughs> okay but uh, can you uh, there are two different things someone may be a better actor but he may not be commercially successful you're this saying kanye is no, not commercially no he is commercially successful but i'm saying the kind of influence that taylor swift has is far more see when you talk you're about influence so yeah. wrong there. when you talk no, about influence no. see okay you're not on the same fine. way you're saying he's in a different that world taylor swift has more influence than kanye no i'm not no i'm not no i'm real no i'm real <laughs> <laughs> See, when we now all the women are not Wait, watching. We, all the women the are not watching because out. they're hating on me the on the internet. The women's clicked out. We put the end screen yeah. for the clip. Now, now the real stuff. There, comes you guys are not on you the same wave. You went bipolar on See, this See, episode, man. For Kanye. For Kanye. No, she. Okay, when we talk about See. influence, we can talk about strict numbers. Sure, Taylor Swift is unmatched. Yeah. But it's not when numbers, I think about, about relevance, when bro. I think about influence, I think about who moved. the cultural needle see that's and what i'm talking has about yeah it. no we're not talking about I'm that i'm not talking we're about we're talking that. more like economically that's influence like when uh, you okay. when whatever yeah. sector okay. you touch he changed the music industry he released 808s and heartbreaks fashion. he changed it yeah he gets into fashion changes it yeah. like that ma- everything that like he touches just turns into gold and that's influence damn Kanye. <laughs> that was real that's good for you so <laughs> i hope yeah. i don't get hate for this <laughs> <laughs> no i like that No, I'm not talking about like changing your industry standards and what not. So like we agree with what, what you just influence? said on the general public. Kanye has more influence on the general public than Taylor Swift has. Really? I don't think so. But just a lot of number. a lot of her influence is not like you can't see it with your naked eye. Wait. Because it's more like <laughs> it's the, the, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> what does that I mean? I can't really like it's. It's not tangible. Yeah, okay, but yeah. Because she has tangible means you can't touch it, but you can explain what intangible is, right? So what is it? Yeah, like like the number of people who will go out there if Taylor Swift says, "Hey, okay, I'm like doing this." But what makes you think that if somebody says Kanye is doing? She's says, saying more people will go for Taylor. Yeah, it's just more people. That's it's it. It's just more numbers there. Yeah, I'm not saying she is a better singer or a better lyricist or whatever. I don't follow either not, of them. Because she's not. I'm not a music person. I've maybe heard two songs of Taylor and like one of Kanye, but it doesn't matter. I I don't have any artistic um uh, opinion. I'm just talking about in terms of pure numbers. Mm. Yeah. Kanye's clear. Kanye's good. Mm. <laughs> Are you okay for him? <laughs> 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 Yo, another thing that was weird as fuck during the Super Bowl. So Nickelodeon, the like the, the kids channel, kids yeah. cartoon channel, they had a stream for the Super Bowl. Mm. Yeah. So they had animated <laughs> really characters cute. in place of some of the players Those... or like the referees. And when the team like made a foul, like there's a foul called holding in football. Uh, it's when you like grab a player who's not involved in the play or something yeah. like that. Like <laughs> the salt, bro. No, like, <laughs> the, the holding, holding is putting it lightly. No. Why are you grabbing him? He's not playing. Wait, was it on like Valentine's it's, Day? It's, it's, was it being lonely? Back, <laughs> it's a running back who is not like involved in the play, but you like kind of obstruct him in field. Okay, whatever. So basically, <laughs> that well, foul, you know a lot. That foul gets American. called. That foul gets called, and then like Dora the Explorer comes on screen <laughs> and she starts explaining. No. Holding is when this happens. That's so Say cute. no to holding. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> yeah, they put like celebrities as yeah, like was, fish people yeah, yeah, <laughs> from SpongeBob. Thank you. So cute. Just, like Americans just do it differently, man. Do like, they have puppy Super Bowl this time? They usually have like a yeah, puppy Super Bowl yeah, beforehand. Like I, I didn't see it this year, but I saw it like 2 yeah. years ago. That's sweet. Like everything they do is just It's hype. Yeah. But like it's an entertaining sport. You should check but it out. But you know, I, I don't like, like the sport itself. There's this entire debate that American football is more popular than soccer. <laughs> It's it's with who not it's just yeah, them being so Americans were just going ape shit crazy they're like oh how do you know soccer is more popular I it's mean just, just Americans just literally cricket, the rest of the world yeah, American cricket is just, more popular than yeah it probably is yeah, because yeah the rest of the world yeah, I hate Americans how like, like I hate how American football it. they'll have like <laughs> the world championship and I'm like oh, bro yeah, it's only the US parade like why are you calling it We talked about this No we talked about So there was this guy called Noah Lyles. I think he's I think his name he's is Noah Lyles. He's a sprinter for the US national team. Uh, he represents the US for like the Olympics the and Olympics, stuff. Yeah. So in a press conference he's like I don't know, I don't know what question it was but he's like I don't understand why the NBA says NBA says that like when a team wins they are world champion. Yeah. 
the, because they're not the world champion. So he he says it like this: world champion of what? <laughs> <laughs> the United and States of America. United yeah. States of America. <laughs> and then all the top NBA players go after him, mm-hmm. and obviously NBA players have a huge, like a yeah, lot of influence, yeah, yeah. like more than this guy. So they read the biggest ones go after him. And then right after that was the Olympics or something. There no, was the, the World Championship of uh, FIBA, World FIBA, Cup. yeah, which is the World Championship of basketball. Mm. And so the edit goes oh, like the this. actual World Champ- yeah, Championship, yeah, the World Cup. Okay. So the edit yeah. on Instagram goes like this: Noah Lyles says this, Ch- World Champion of what? The NBA, uh, United States of America. Then all the top players in the NBA are saying, "What the fuck? This guy is fucking stupid." And then it's a shot of Germany winning. Really? They Germany lost. Germany won. America. Germany won. My God, that's crazy! Yeah. But the thing it's is, like it was scripted. To be fair, to be fair, they never sent their strongest team. But this Olympics, because of all like what Noah Lyles said, and all of them troll, like the whole world trolling them. I think LeBron James, KD, Steph Curry, they're all LeBron James. The, sorry, they're all playing in the Olympics this year, and they'll probably win. Like if all of them play, they're gonna win easily. I mean, you never know with having all like top players. The coordination. It's like England yeah. as a football team, right? Like the individually great players, but together they don't. They're not a well-oiled machine. Yeah, but LeBron and Curry in the same team, they're winning mm-hmm. for sure. I also, uh, I'm not f- like all those names sound similar to me, but there's a Serbian dude who's really good at basketball. Jokic. Like he, Jokic, the guy who looks least interested in basketball. Yeah. <laughs> the dad bod. Yeah. When he went MVP yeah. So he was the MVP last year, right? Mm. Yeah, finals are <coughs> That's they get th- that ring, right? Yeah, yeah when they yeah. win the finals. So, <coughs> like, he was g- being heckled in one of the NBA games, and then he, the interviewer asks him, uh, "Were you bothered by that?" And he's like, "Brother, I played in Serbia." And then the edit is, "You should see what a basketball game in Serbia looks like. Oh it's yeah. like a football game, but I- a football game. The thing is, the pitch is there, and the fans are like far away. Far away, yeah. In this, it's like you're." In the, in the middle of it, of it middle mm-hmm. of it, yeah. Like flares, flares and air. Ep- like it's like I don't know, one jobs. lakh people. It's like it was it's fucking like a war crazy. Room. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It's like brother, I played in Serbia, and then boom. Have you experienced this I played in Serbia, brother. talked about sports for the last half because <laughs> she said she hates sports <laughs> yeah i love sports i could live sports, for sports 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 you should go for frisbee with them today i will not <laughs> yeah Thank i'm playing you. ultimate fris- frisbee today i didn't even know that thing like a sport like that existed i only know ultimate frisbee MKBH 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 <laughs> really yeah. yeah he's a pro oh. i remember my brother telling me about this three four years ago and i was like what bullshit like are people <laughs> just jobless now <laughs> And then cut to me today, <laughs> 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 trying out <laughs> to be in the team. <laughs> okay, guys, that's it for today's episode. Uh, mm-hmm. If you love Kanye, comment down below. If you like if you do- Taylor, if you like Taylor, I love both of them. Just to just shut up, bitch! <laughs> shut up, you mother! If you like Taylor, don't. <laughs> <laughs> if you like Taylor, don't comment. Uh, are you playing a song again? Aww. Please, we'll get copyright. Shut no, up. we edited to a post finish, not post finish. Uh, just a post finish. Song. Uh-huh. I made the bitch famous. I made the bitch famous. <laughs> okay, we'll get we we'll lose our money, bro. We need money. <laughs> yeah, Kanye's not paying us, Jack. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, thank you for watching this episode. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll be back in the next one with some cool guests. If we get guests, or otherwise, AKA it'll be the same. <laughs> otherwise, it'll be the same people. But thanks for watching. We're running out of cousins. Uh, we are <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are go- uh, I have an announcement to make. We are going to be India's biggest podcast soon. Oh, okay. So we, we aren't already? No, we're not. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. Just, soon, baby. Soon. Yeah, soon. Okay. Guys, go follow. Why are there thirty nine k? You know, every here? time you say follow, they follow your fucking personal account. <laughs> on my account, follow the pod. Why are there thirty nine k of you here, but only twenty eight k on Instagram? Where the fuck's the level? I don't k? even think I follow you guys. <laughs> That's Sorry, it. we got a cut on yeah, <laughs>